Senior Party Leader Shoaib Shaheen met with Imran Khan in Adiala Jail today. Advocate Shoaib Shaheen briefed the media about his interaction with the former Prime Minister and founding chairman of Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf, Mr. Imran Khan. Mr. Khan expressed grave concerns about the abduction of Hassan Niazi and Abad Farooq from their military prison cell. Speaking of the Chief Justice of Pakistan, Mr. Khan said that Chief Justice Qasi Isa has a conflict of interest and he holds an extreme bias towards PTI. Imran Khan will address a letter to the CJP asking him to recuse himself in cases related to Imran Khan and PTI as ordered by a previous five-member Supreme Court bench. The May 9th false flag, the London plan, the rigging against PTI and the illegal incarceration of PTI female prisoners. All these petitions are pending before the Chief Justice. He should ensure that justice is done. Justice Arbab Muhammad Tahir of Islamabad High Court has ordered the Medical Board of PIMS to visit the Adiala Jail on Saturday and re-evaluate Chaudhary Parvez Elahi's health. The board has been instructed to submit the report to the court recommending whether Mr. Ilahi should be transferred back to the hospital. The court has also asked for a report from the Adiala jail authorities detailing what facilities are being provided in jail to PTI's president, Chaudhary Parvez Ilahi. Mrs. Qaisra Ilahi, while talking to the media outside the court, said that the judge expressed his concerns for Mr. Ilahi's health and the mistreatment of the state of the 78-year-old veteran politician. Chaudhary Parvez Elahi had fallen in jail early and broken his ribs. His doctors had expressed the concern that he was not yet fit to be released from hospital care, but the police forcefully took him back to the Adiala jail. Hassan Niazi and Miyabad Farooq have both mysteriously disappeared from their jail cells while under military custody. The two gentlemen are among the 85 civilians still unconstitutionally under military custody for the May 9 false flag attacks of last year. Their weekly meeting with their families on Thursday was cancelled, while the other detainees reported that they have both been missing from their cells. There is currently no information about their whereabouts. Hassan Niazi is nephew of the former Prime Minister Imran Khan, who has himself been unjustly incarcerated for the last 258 days. Miyabad Farooq is the father of young Amar Farooq, who died last year after suffering from extreme emotional trauma following illegal police raids at their house and the consequent arrest of his father. A young man has died after being hit by a vehicle from the security protocol of the controversial Chief Minister Punjab, Mariam Nawaz. Abu Bakr, a motorcyclist, was killed in an alleged collision with the elite force vehicle belonging to the squad of Mariam Nawaz Sharif near Chandawal on Narawal Road. According to the district police officer, the body of the youth was shifted to DHQ Hospital. An FIR of the incident was registered in the Narawal police station and the police are investigating the incident. No comments have yet been made by Ms. Sharif nor her team. Iran has said that their air defense systems were activated amid reports of explosions near an airport in the central city of Isfahan as U.S. broadcaster ABC News quoted officials saying that Israel had carried out an attack. Iran state media reported that flights over the cities of Isfahan, Shiraz and Tehran had been suspended. Conflicting accounts emerged regarding an alleged attack on Iran's nuclear facilities in Isfahan. Iranian media and officials have refuted these claims, asserting that the situation in Isfahan is normal and that the nuclear facilities remain unharmed. Several Iranian nuclear sites are located in the Isfahan province, including Natanz, the center of Iran's uranium enrichment program.